And so today's project is I'm gonna work on my pool. So first things first, we're gonna disable, let's see, disable these uh, Zigbee pool switches because we're gonna take apart the chlorinator and rebuild it. So let me find some place to start trying to get this apart. So the issue is it's not passing water and there's a valve in the base of it that's very likely the culprit. bad feeling that I just cracked that, but we'll see. All right, so there's a screw down here. I'm gonna get a screwdriver. Likely it's gonna leak, but we'll see. It's gonna need this and that and that to be replaced. Alright, so I did not take this screw out, and what we're gonna replace is that. So let's go rebuild. get to redo it because well yeah that flipped it over there we go so we're gonna put some Teflon tape there on paste And it really is just that simple. There we go. And we're back where we started. So now what we'll do is we'll just feel through this. tight until it stops. Alright, good enough. 
now we're going to put this back up in here and hope we didn't... I'm just looking to see what I might have heard snap. Probably that. Oh, that's what I heard snap right there. Okay, that's good. That's still serviceable though. Now, I used pliers to undo it because these tend to stick. And if you rock it back and forth in both axes, it'll break this free. Um, there's a lot of cracking going on here, so this really does need to be replaced. You know, it, it handles chlorine and chlorinated water. So next we're going to replace this seal, and then we're going to put chlorine back in. Alright, that's good enough. So on the bottom of this there is an O-ring which is well past its prime. So you just pry it out of there with a screwdriver clean this out so that's clean and let me go to the new one now the kit came with a pair of them so there's probably one down here but we don't need that we only need one and it came with some silicone grease and you should use the silicone grease. And you can see, that's just a whole lot nicer. Let me go get the old one so you can see the difference. So these should be soft and pliable. And obviously this is swollen and nasty. And you can see it's just really shot. And it doesn't surprise me because this is exposed to really nasty chemicals all the time. So the way you use this is you just put a little bit. It's all it takes between your thumb and your forefinger. And you are just going to lubricate the O-ring so that when it's sitting in here, and then you just press it back in here that up in a minute. You just press it back in here so that it sits in its little groove and then I'm going to go ahead and do this because this is what the lube is to stop it from getting torn and that's all there is to it. And then just tighten. Now it probably doesn't need to be cinched down anymore. So thanks for watching. I hope you liked my video. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel to see more. Checking to make sure I don't have any leaks. And I'm going to leave the chlorine up kind of high. It wasn't flowing real well, which is the reason this got replaced. So my pool is really icky looking right now. Um, I actually am going to change the, the filter too because I'm completely over this DE filter. Um, just never ending set of problems. But anyway, so it doesn't look like it's leaking. So we're good to go.